Good morning everyone, it's the 3rd of the 3rd, um, 23, and it's my brother's birthday today, so happy birthday Ian if you are watching this video, which is highly unlikely, but if you are, have a happy birthday. Um, it's a portal today, energy of 3-3, three, three. so be open to opening your heart and to just stepping into that portal, sinking into the energy. I feel March is going to be really fast paced, I think February was quite fast, but I think um, March is going to be even quicker with lots of opportunities coming up for us. So the energy I'm feeling today is very much a reflection day. Uh, coming into yourself, um, looking at what you need to resolve, what you need to speak up about, what situations are now coming to a head where you can't accept someone's behaviour maybe or a job situation you're in anymore, you need to speak up. But before you do that, really sink into that energy. Are you coming from a place of love? Um, what else have I written down here? Um, you are going to have that... Um, opportunity to speak your truth but it's always best to come from a place of love and now is the time to do that but with wisdom as well because you've been contemplating this for a few months now things that aren't really going your way or that you're struggling with now is the time to face them head on but what i would say is just retreat today and really think about um, what you want to say, you may have some throat chakra issues going on, you might have a sore throat or tickly cough, and it's just your throat chakra just making you aware of what you need to say. Now, just take some time out, pause, and really think about those words that you're going to use, how the other person may well respond, because you need to be ready for that and own your part of um, the situation. No blaming, no judgment. Um, and just being mindful that some of the stuff that comes back at you is not going to be yours. It's going to be their stuff, especially if you're triggering them. So you need to be um, thinking about all this today and pausing and just reflecting and thinking, right, am I in the right mind space here? Am I stepping out of the fear and going to do it anyway because it needs to be done? Just pause and just respond. And then if you, before you respond, and then if you feel ready and think, no, this is the time, then go ahead. But remember to sink into that heart space before you speak. Um, also, you're going to be making yourself accountable this weekend for your actions. So that links in as well. So, you know, if you're going to stir the pot, beware for the backlash that could be coming your way. Um, or you may find that that the conversation that you may need to have is go is gone better than you thought it was going to be. Because sometimes we get in our heads and we make it out to be this big thing and uh, start surmising about what the other person's going to say or how they're going to react. And then when we actually take that courage and speak our truth, it's not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Nine, out, nine times out of ten, that is the case. Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say. I've got a couple of card decks today. I've got, I'm pulling from one that I don't pull from very often, which is the Atlantis deck by Maria Aletta. I hope that's how I spell it. And I've also got a new deck, the Herbal Astrology deck, Tarot deck. Is it Tarot? No, it is an Oracle deck. Because you know I love herbs, so I thought we'll have a little play with that today. So let's see what cards is Metatron going to give us. For this coming weekend, what do we need to focus on? Right, here we go. Oh, there's quite a few here. So we got the card of clarity. But look at these in a deeper meaning in a second. Let me just move those out of the way. Uh, synchronicity. Yeah, I think that's that's key at the moment. It's all going to be lining up. Um, mermaid and mermaid. So remembering who you love, your deep connections. And then we've got guardians, protection. So it's clarity when you see clearly obstacles disappear. So yeah, when we get clarity, when we really make, we stop, we slow down, we come within, we really think about what we want to say, what we want to do, where we want to go, we get clarity. So come within, quiet in the mind, and that's when you get clarity and clear messages from spirit. They then got synchronicity, go with the divine flow. So this is all lining up for you now. If you've been having uh, thoughts in your mind that you need to sort out a situation or a relationship, 
It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be any relationship. This is the time. The synchronicities are all... I can't even say that word. Synchronicities are all like um, lining up. So this gives you a really big opportunity. But you need to slow down, pause, and just really reflect about or think about what you want to say and how that's going to be received and what the outcome of that may be. Remember, you don't know. You, you can only control you. You can only control how you respond to situations and people. But you can't, you know, you can't control another. So just be ready for what you, the outcome may be. But remember, you're coming from a place of love. Remember, you know, you're going to have these deep connections with people that you have to address. But remember those you love. And, you know, this is also a card that's going to be strengthening. Because when you speak up, especially in partnerships, you resolve situations for both of you, not just for yourself. And that can deepen your connection. Um, we've also got protection. So you're always protected. So call in your protection before you have these conversations. Put yourself in the armour of God. Put yourself in a blue bubble of light. Place a shield over your solar plexus and heart. And remember to call back your own energy when you've had these conversations. But you are protected as you go in. You're always protected, but remember to call it in. So those are the cards, those cards for the weekend. Let's see what herbs we're going to get. Right, who's this by, this Oracle deck? I'd like to give them a shout out. Andriana A. A yells, A yells, probably pronounced that completely wrong. Right, let's see what we've got coming out. This this card for the weekend, Mitchell, please, to help us with all of this. Right, we've got two. We've got Rosemary, helps with ancient memory. So it could help you with um, past lives, um, identifying maybe stuff that's coming up for you from a past life or even ancestral so rosemary is the herb. Yeah, we've got an elder in the background. We've got the sun here. We've got the pyramid. Yeah, she's sagey with rose. We'll have a look at that card in a minute. And we've got protection again. And we've got the courage of the lion. So we've got the courage of the lion in there. And the herb is rue. Right, let's have a look what the book says because I haven't a clue. I haven't even looked at these cards yet. These are the first time I've pulled anything. So, Rosemary, the guidance is ruled by Mercury, the planet of the mind and the sun, the planet representative of our base ego and super ego. Rosemary embodies this holy connection, the mind of the ego to the super ego, the higher mind. This card card signifies past feelings and emotions are surfacing from deep within you may find yourself remembering and accessing ancestral memory that resides within your dna which is what i said um rosemary assists us in healing through multi-dimensional sight um reminding us to use the power of vision to see beyond the constraints of everyday life don't disassociate or get consumed by the vow that broadcasts emotional imbalance Call upon Rosemary as a guiding light to see beyond the veil of confusion and stay committed to the vision that moves you. Yes, yeah, staying focused. Focus the intention that you want on the outcome that you want to have. And then we've got Rue, which is the courage of the lion. Protection, so we're always protected. What does it say? So the Rue is said to be the herb of angels. Oh, I like that. Um granting us the ability to channel the angelic realms. It emates golden energy like a lion, powerful protecting and pouring in light into our space that's in it, that it inhibits. Resilient like the wild array of her, uh, solar herbs, it grows generously and abundantly, thriving in all kinds of terrain, demonstrating its strong life force and vitality. Rua has land in, landed in your cards today to remind you to protect your aura um, from leaking and, pos and pos possessive spirits that might be consuming your energy. Don't allow parasitic negativity to darken your field, which can create peripheral states of self-criticism, self-doubt or self-hatred. Call upon the moon's power to shield your body with angelic forces and restore radiance, vitality and love in your atmosphere. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So those are the two herbs, rue and rosemary. So that was just a bit fun, really. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. Keep focused, stay on your own path. 
try and come back and look after yourself this weekend because we've got the full moon on the 7th which is Tuesday next week so we'll be looking at that on Monday have a fantastic weekend take care of yourself and be brave and have those difficult conversations if it feels right for you but you're ready to do this now and this is the time you've got the power of the moon as well for releasing lots of love take care bye for now